Hey guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about voice coils and uh, we can tell what you've done to the sub or how you've been using the sub uh, when you, you know, send in for a warranty repair or you go to recone it and you, you don't know what happened. Uh, kind of like the instance where you say, I didn't even turn it up. I only had a 300 watt amp on it. All these different kinds of excuses that we hear all the time. And we can actually tell uh, why it failed and uh, what you've been doing, how you've been using it, that kind of thing. So, uh, that being said, starting with a brand new coil, uh, this one is particularly dark. There are some that are actually black that are advertised as uh, handling more heat uh, or more power. Um, in reality, this is an American-made coil. Those black coils, uh, that vendor uh, they kind of match about what the American coils do, and that black coil is a Chinese coil. So uh, where the coil is from doesn't necessarily mean it's good or bad either. Uh, it just depends on the coil itself. So this one uh, is a 500 degree coil, American made coil. You see it's very dark. Um, there are some lighter spots in it, but this coil is brand new, never played. This coil also brand new, never played. It's a lot lighter. So it's not a consistent color or anything like that anywhere through here. So again, if you see a coil like this, it doesn't mean that anything is bad with it. It hasn't been clipped or anything like that where this line is. That's actually how it's manufactured. Also an American coil, 500 degree temperature. Now this one, uh, sub was obviously used. We cut it down. Uh, I think it was on a prototype. Um, it was not blown. So this is a copper coil, whereas the other two here are aluminum. This one is copper. Nice, bright, shiny copper. Uh, if you're clipping it, these will turn darker and darker and darker, closer to the color of these other two. But it should be this bright copper color. And these will also get darker as well. They're just harder to tell if you've been clipping it or, you know, excessive power, that kind of thing. So bright, shiny copper is uh, very common on copper coils. This one is a Chinese coil, but it is a 500 degree coil as well. So, again, the color of it doesn't make it a better coil at all. Um, but this is also a 500 degree coil, copper, Chinese made. So then you get into um, what was done to it. In this case, we've got excessive power. It's just way more power that it can handle. Um, creates a lot of heat, you reach thermal limits. So you can kind of tell, um, aside from this being a very dark color, uh, normally this is closer a little bit lighter, but you can tell from excessive power starting to burn it so it's black. But also there's these little gaps in between. And what's happening there is the coil is starting to unravel, but not quite there yet. Um, so when you do have one that has uh, to way too much heat for the adhesive, you might get a section of it um, that will just slide off, or you know, might even slide from the very top. It will just slide right off the former. Um, this one has not gotten to that point. It was very close. It started to do that. Right there is even some bubbling. Um, so the top plate would be about right here. And uh, it was bubbling above that, starting to separate. The whole thing is very, very, very dark. Um, this particular person I've uh, just had way more power on it than should have. It's a 3-inch uh, coil. Uh, they had a 10,000 watt amp on it. They uh, didn't have actual power numbers, uh, but, I mean, just excessive power. It was clean power. It was just too much power. So, in this example, again, um, should be closer to that color the whole way through, but it is black. Uh, which is an indication of starting to burn. Uh, you can't really tell. It's uneven where it's it's got some rippling. And then you get to this spot. So there was some rubbing. Um, the coil broke loose and then just kind of got knocked around in the gap, which is why all this is folded up here. But you know some holes. And uh, this one was on a 6,000 watt amp that was clipped. So when you blow a hole in it like that, that's from excessive current. Um, this wire is not that big. Now you're talking 18-gauge um, wire, or uh, 
sometimes 20 gauge wire, and then when you get into these other ones, you might even be talking 24 gauge wire, 28 gauge wire. So there's only so much current that these can take, period. So in this case, blew a hole out there and just gradually got worse from there. But there are other signs of excessive heat uh, to begin with. And again, clipping generates a lot of heat, but clipping also blows holes in, uh, in the wire. We've got another example. Uh, the other one was a Korean app. This one is a Brazilian app. You can see it blew a hole in the former, completely melted the former. Uh, the former was actually on the pole. Um, just completely melts to it, had to knock it off. But when you uh, have a Brazilian amp and have any amount of clipping, um, it goes really wrong really fast. So we've got holes blown all the way through it, all this damage. So, and there's another hole right there too. So we can also tell what kind of amp you had because of how it acted. You see the rest of the coil is kind of like the other one, the color it should be. So this one um, was not exactly just clipping it. Um, I believe there may not have actually been any clipping at all, based on no other signs of burning or anything else, just holes. That's just dirty, dirty power. Some people will argue that it's not. Coil says otherwise. Um, there are dirty Chinese amps that will do the same kind of thing. They burn leads, that kind of thing. But uh, this was on a Brazilian amp, and that's what happened to it as compared to the Korean amp that yes that did unravel and blow it didn't blow a giant hole and it just started from one spot and then came out um, so we can tell uh, what is done to coils based on how they're used you know this is another example of a very very dark one that's perfectly fine Nothing wrong with it, no ripples, no bubbles, no broken marks. This was burped on a lot of power, and it was torn down, but the coil was fine. Looks like this one, brand new coil, and then the copper coil. So these are all examples of clean power, even if they have some uneven but there's no bubbles, no ripples, no holes. We can tell how you've used the sub. So if you send it in for warranty and you say, well, I only had half of rated power, we can look at the coil and say, no, that's not what happened. So if you have any other questions on, uh, on the coils, what they look like, anything like that, post in the comments below.